Hi guys! This is my tutorial for a Spooky Bay Pastel Halloween Tumbler. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler with an 80 grit sanding block and spray painted it with white spray paint. Now I'm ready to add my glow in the dark base color. Once again, I want this sucker visible from space, so I'll be using a hefty amount of glow powder. If you don't want the same bright glow, just use less glow powder in your epoxy. My inspiration for this design is from the decal we'll be using from Southern Belle Glitter. I love the pastel look of it and realized I've never done a Halloween tumbler using pastel colors. So I'm like, okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> I let that layer cure and now we're adding another layer of epoxy, but we're gonna add some sparkle with this one, with this layer, okay? Just some glitter, just a little bit. Before I used to have just the glow with no extra sparkle, you know, just that glow background, but I have since repented and realized the error of my ways. And now that extra sparkly goodness I shall be adding. You can leave it plain if you want, but you know, whisper it with me all, do it. Let cure, then we'll be ready to add our stencils. I'm going to be personally using cats, but you can use other spooky symbols like bats, little witchy hats, cauldrons, etc. If you'd like to use the same cat outlines and silhouettes that I am using, they'll be available in my Etsy shop and are linked below. If you are one of my Sparkle 2 mentorship members, I've uploaded the files to the Dropbox. my stencils under the glitter I'll be using my low temp heat gun to find them but if you have something else that you like to use please feel free to use it just be sure to use something so you can find your stencils later when you're all done spray paint your tumbler I'm going to be using two colors for my design but you can definitely just use one and still have a super cute design to apply my glitter, I'm going to be using the epoxy method as usual, but if you have another way to apply your glitter, please feel free to use it. Because I used fast set epoxy to apply my glitter, I'll be immediately removing my stencils. Like right after I finished applying my epoxy and glittering, I'm taking my stencils off. If you used a non fast setting epoxy or if you use one, depending on how warm your room is, I would wait about 45 to 60 minutes or so before removing my stencils.
let this layer cure. Then we're gonna seal with a coat of epoxy. And of course, I'm gonna be adding some extra sparkle <laughs> into that layer of epoxy. You don't have to, but you know, come on. You already know what I'm gonna say, so just do it. Just do it. And then <laughs> I'm gonna seal that layer with another coat of epoxy to make sure my cup is nice and smooth and covered with epoxy so that when I sand later for any bumps in my epoxy, I won't be sanding my glitter. Now that my tumbler is nice and smooth, I'm gonna be cleaning and sanding my rim and then feeling for any raised bumps in my epoxy and sanding them down. Now that our tumbler is nice and smooth, I'm ready to apply my vinyl outlines and make sure your tumbler is smooth, you guys. Sometimes I see tumblers where it's like this gorgeous tumbler and then their vinyl is bumpy because they didn't sand their tumbler, like get rid of all the bumps and so they stick that chrome vinyl on there or that holographic vinyl and you can see the bumps underneath. Oh my Lord, that just drives me absolutely bad. Absolutely bananas. So try to make sure your tumbler is nice and smooth. If you need to add another coat of epoxy to make sure of that, then do it. Do it. It's just the little things that will help set your cup apart from everyone else's. These new UV DTF decals are all the rage right now and I can see why the color is super vibrant and I'm putting mine on a tumbler so I will be sealing it but if you put it on a glass tumbler or on acrylic tumbler you don't need to seal these decals you can just slap them on and call it good they can go in the dishwasher I don't know if they can go in the microwave I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure, but I know they can go in the dishwasher and these suckers are not coming off. They are absolutely amazing. And if you're like me and you make tumblers like I do with epoxy, you can stick them on your epoxy tumblers as well. But if you're not into epoxy, these are perfect for you. You can just stick these on a cute glass snow globe tumbler and be finished. I'm using one of my former Steel Magnolia, now the Tipsy Magnolia tumblers, which have the perfect bottoms to add some extra glitz. I'll be keeping my bottom simple though, just adding some glitter, my signature, and using UV resin to seal it.
I sealed my tumbler till it was nice and smooth and then I was all done. That's it guys! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your spooky bay pastel Halloween tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye!